Lord Billamoria, it's so good to have you with us on the International Business Times. Thank you so much for giving us your time. What I wanted to do was start off and find out more about um, you and your upbringing and your education. I was born and brought up in India. My father was in the Indian Army, so we travelled around a lot. I went to seven different schools, went to university in India when I was 16 years old. I graduated at 19, so I was quite young. Came to England, qualified as a chartered accountant in the city of London with Ernst & Young, did a law degree at Cambridge University and started my business. Wow. And I've been in the UK now since the early 80s. Superb. So um, the, what was the experience like in going to seven different schools? I mean, you, it obviously meant you had a, a sort of a character so that you were able to kind of get into a school and get to know the, the kids well and make friends well. Was it, was it easy for you? Well, you get used to it when you're moving around so much. You get used to um, making new friends, uh, settling into a completely new environment, uh, a very different environment because India is the most diverse and complex country in the world in every way. So I was very lucky that I got to know India extremely well throughout my childhood, uh, thanks to my parents, thanks to my father. Fantastic. Um, I'm interested to also to know about um, more about the kind of business background, BC as I call it, before Cobra, before you came up with this idea to, to establish uh, the beer and the company. So what did you do before? And obviously well, from, from university to um, getting to establish Cobra? Well, I started Cobra very soon. Um, my biz I started my company within a few months of finishing my education. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, when I trained to be a chartered accountant, it's a qualification where you actually have to work and study at the same time. So I was working for what is today Ernst & Young for four years in the city of London, where I would go out and, and uh, audit companies quite often on their sites, so within the company. So I learned a lot about business within business while qualifying as a chartered accountant. So that was really, really useful. And also working for a large firm, a global firm like Ernst Young, it was a fantastic experience because you really learn about a professional environment. And there was internal training. I taught on internal courses. You had to account for every 15 minutes of your time. Mm -hmm. And of course, all the negative sides of a big organization as well with all the office mm -hmm. politics. Uh, and, and all that was very useful. And of course, there's so many entrepreneurs who've started in business who've never worked for a big company and have never experienced that. And I, I found that a very useful background to have. Terrific. What was the spark then for Cobra? Where did the idea come from? Cobra's a very simple idea. Uh, I've noticed a lot of business ideas are actually very simple. Uh, and they often come from, as a consumer, being passionate about something on the one hand and hating something on the other hand. In my case, I always loved beer. And uh, I hated the fizzy lagers in the UK, particularly with food. And an English friend of mine introduced me to ale, which I loved. But I found the ale very difficult to drink with food. Uh, and then I came up with this idea, why don't I produce a beer that has the refreshing qualities of a lager and the smoothness of an ale combined, so that it has a very globally appealing taste, very balanced, rounded taste, but also a taste that will enable it to go well with all food, and in particular with Indian food. Fantastic. So how, how did you um, get into kind of coming up with um, the flavour then? Did you kind of go out on a, a kind of a journey of discovery of flavours or did you kind of bring a team together to, to create what is actually Cobra today? I had the taste for Cobra very clearly in my mind. I knew, knew exactly what I wanted the beer to taste like. I did a lot of experimenting myself in tasting different types <laughs> of beers from around the world, yeah. deciding what I liked, didn't like. But I, there was no perfect beer that, that had what I was looking for. And I was very lucky that I got an introduction uh, to the largest independent brewer in India at the time, Mysore Breweries in Bangalore, which is one of the homes of, of good beer in India. And they happened to have the finest brewmaster in India, Dr. Karepa, who had spent six years in the Czech Republic, had a PhD in brewing, wow. one of the youngest people to get his PhD in Prague. And he was young, he was dynamic, he thought it was a great idea. And I went to Bangalore, mm -hmm. sat down with him and created Cobra Beer from scratch. I mean, created the whole brand and the recipe everything from scratch. My first trip to India, in those days you were allowed to carry liquid in your hand luggage. I went out with 30 bottles of different beers in my hand luggage, <laughs> went to the laboratory in the brewery and tasted each one of those beers with Dr. Karepa, the brewmaster, saying, this is what I like about this beer, this is what I don't like about this beer, to try and convey to him the taste and the texture that I had in mind. Was that a long process and kind of um, you, you knowing what you wanted to kind of actually having, this is it, this is Cobra? Well, the first brew that we brewed and we exported it um, to the UK, I knew when I tasted it, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but it was definitely on the right tracks. It was a little too sweet, it was a little too heavy, but it had the smoothness and it had the texture. 
and then I was able to sell that to consumers in Britain, get some feedback from consumers, incorporate that feedback, tweak the taste. So I took about three different productions and actually selling all that beer, continuing to get feedback. Then we stabilized on the taste and we've never changed it since. And it's a very, Cobra is a very complex recipe. Um, I mean, we, we call Cobra impossibly smooth, Indian ingenuity. And, and it is a recipe that is quite the other extreme of, say, a German beer, which has uh, malt, yeast, water, and one variety of hops. We have all that, but we also have rice. We also have maize. We also have wheat. And instead of one variety of hops, we have four varieties of hops. So it's a very complex recipe and process to make Cobra to give it this texture and smoothness and, uh, that people love. Great. For all the beer geeks among <laughs> us who might be watching, what are the, do you know what the hop varieties are in there? Oh, I can't really disclose we'll that. But they're up. German. They're yeah, German. okay, yes. they're all German hops. Yeah. Great. And obviously the, the rice and the, and the maize and the wheat will give that smoothness in, they in all terms help of the, to the, give the, the mouthfeel. Yeah, great. It's not just the ingredients, it's actually the way that it's made as well. Of course. Yeah, yeah of course, because it's about kind of the, the, the fermentation and the maturation process, which will kind of give it well, that extra every, flavour. Every aspect of the production process has an, uh, has an influence on that taste. Smooth and full flavoured, Cobra, enlighten your tongue.